Jack Ward. Something that I feel like went really well with my online teaching flipped lesson was the way that I recorded my hands and both myself as the teacher at the same time throughout the video. I feel like being that um, artist about like creativity and it's such a hands-on project that it's definitely important for the students to be able to see my hands working on the project and my face at the same time. So that's something I feel like what I did, I, I set up my cameras the way I set them up. I think I did really well on that. Um, I would use this in my future classroom, maybe for a way if a student misses a day of school um, and they just happen to have art that day, they could go on to say a Google Classroom that I have for the students and I could post a video of what we did today and kind of like the demo. And I feel like that would be a really good way for students to kind of catch themselves up before next week's class. Um, something that I feel like I need to work on was working on my time limit. I know we had the 10 minute time limit on this project. And I feel like that I went over the time limit by like three minutes, but I, I couldn't shorten my lessons. So I think something I need to work on is if I were to use this in the future to making sure that I can keep that lesson nice and short, especially for elementary students. I feel like keeping them engaged is going to take a little more than what it would to keeping a high schooler engaged. So if that time limit means just keeping the video down to 10 minutes, I need to figure out how to do that, I think, if I use it in the future. Something that my peers did well that I would like to emulate is engaging students in the lesson as I teach. One thing that I noticed about my peers was they were constantly like asking the students questions. And um, I felt like art is more just like, this is how we make it. And so I feel like I didn't really engage the students as much as I should have. And I would like to do that in the future if I ever used an online flip lesson as well. Um, something that I learned was I, I learned that teaching art online would be really difficult since it's such a hands-on activity. Um, if I did have to do it in the future, in the case of like a COVID, like another COVID-19 pandemic, um, where students were at home, I would spend a lot of time planning my lesson and then how I would encourage creativity with different at-home projects for students to do. Um, I don't think flipping lessons in art, now that we've done it, could be very productive unless it's necessary, um, especially for elementary students. I feel like having the flipped, having the flipped model lesson, it just doesn't really, it can't be the most productive way for students to create art just because parents don't want elementary students making messes at home and I feel like it's being that it's just art, it's easier to do the messy projects in the art classroom.